Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we are going to see about pandas, the basics of pandas library. Okay. So, what do you mean by pandas? So, pandas means panel data. So, pandas means panel data. Okay. So, pandas is very important library in uh, data in Python, which is used for the data science. So it is going to represent the data in the for, in form of or in the form of tabular column. Okay, so in the form of a tabular column, uh, the values, the data will be represented in the pandas. And using pandas, we can do can do lot of descriptive statistics. We can do aggregation functions. And we can also have multiple ways to handle your missing data. So it can do a lot of descriptive statistics, aggregation and missing data also can be handled. And um, in pandas, we have three different, uh, three important data structures. Okay, three important data structures we have. Uh, they are called as the, we have, uh, they are called as the data frame series and panel. Okay, so the first one is your series. Okay, the second one is your data frame. And third one is your panel. Okay. So series means, okay, it is a 1D array and it will be homogeneous and it is immutable, okay, which you cannot change. Whereas data frame is going to be a 2D array okay, in the form of a matrix. And it is a heterogeneous, you can have different data items put together and it is mutable, which means that I can change it. Whereas panel is a 3D, it is going to represent the 3D values, okay. It is also heterogeneous, which means it can have different data types and this is also mutable, okay. So this is what pandas. So pandas means it is a panel data. So it is going to describe everything in, the, in terms of a table. So first we'll see how to create the two important data structures in pandas that is series and data frame. Okay. So before you uh, start with uh, series and data frame, we have to make sure whether uh, pandas is installed. So in Jupyter Notebook, it will be already installed. But if you want to check, you can just check like this. PIP install pandas. Okay, so this is for uh, installing your pandas. And once it is done, then we have to start writing importing. So import pandas as PD. We have to create an allies. So we have created the, we have imported the pandas here. Okay, so now we'll start, uh, as I said before, uh, we will start with series first. So there are two important, okay, there are two important data structures. Okay, one is the series and the other one is your data frame. Okay, so first we'll see about the series. Okay, how to create the series, what all operations are there available in the series, all that we'll be able to see now. So first we are going to see how to create the series. Okay, there are different ways to create series. There are different ways to create series. Okay, so the first way is uh, we can create the uh, 
series using an array okay you can create using using a list or using a dictionary okay so first way that we are going to see is okay the method one that i'm going to use here is using a list okay using a list so like this let me start with series 1 is equals to td okay that's analyzed for pandas and series s should be capital series of i'm just going to give a list of values just like this then print your series it will show you in the form of a table the zeroth row okay or in the position 0 there is 10 and in the position 1 there is 20 and in the position 2 there is a 30 so this is one series and as i said series is a homogeneous so it can have only one particular data type so if i want to have a uh, say suppose a string values okay so let me have string series is equals to 2 okay instead of uh numbers i'm just going to have some string okay okay let me have some name like this kavi then ravi so these are the two strings okay so here you can see in zeroth position kavi is stored in one it is in ravi so when you want to check what is the type of this series 2 it will just display it belongs to pandas score series so it is a series type okay so in here we have 0 and 1 right so instead of that i can give a name for that particular row okay so same thing i copy here okay so i i don't want here 0 and 1 i just want to put uh, the names or name one name zero like that so i let me paste it here so after giving the names here you have something called as index okay index this is for renaming your index values okay so index is equals to okay whatever you want to give so name one i have two indexes so i have to give two values name two so name one and name 2 so when you display here you can see name 1 is kavi and name 2 is ravi so you can rename your index positions now the second method is okay method 2 is creating a series from array okay so first we'll create an array a1 is equals to np dot array Okay, let me have just one comma two comma three comma four. Now array is here. Now I have to create a series. Series three is equals to pd dot. I'm just giving array parameter. Okay. You can see one two three four. So zero index one is there. and in one there is a two okay so that is the second method and third method is what as we said series can be developed created from list arrays and dictionary so third method is is through dictionary okay we are creating a series using a dictionary so first we have to define the dictionary okay very simple dictionary let me see okay so dictionary is a key value pair so there should be a key and there should be a value for it so i'm just given india delhi and uk london so now i'll create series 4 that is pd dot series okay dict 1 and it is placed so it is displaying 
India, Delhi, UK, London. So this is one way of creating the, um, the series. Next is how to access the element in the series. Okay, so our series three is what? This one. Okay. Say suppose you want to access what is there in the second position. Okay. So for that you have to just give series three and we can this is indexing. Okay, whichever is there in the second position. This is in the second position. So it is just displaying three. And you can also access multiple elements. So when you have multiple elements, you can access like this with a square bracket. Okay, first two positions. So position one and position two. So that is like that. Okay, even when you have a call index name, even using the index name, you can do it. So in our series two, if you see, we have name one and name two, right? So here we can, okay, with a name one alone, if you want, you can extract. So this is also one way of indexing. And when you go for slicing, then say, suppose you want to retrieve a particular row or a particular index position alone, then you can do it like this. So index 0, 3 from 0 to second position. Okay, so from zero to second position to retrieve only those position. And when you want to put it in the reverse order, and all of us know it as minus one. So put it here, okay, minus one. So this will display your series in the reverse order, okay? And now uh, we'll see uh, some operations or I mean the attributes of a series. Okay, we are going to see the attributes. Attributes of series. That is, we have, uh, we have values and size. Okay, so these are the two attributes that we are going to use. So how to use the values? Values will just display the different values that is present in your series. And size will just tell you how many elements are there. Okay. So series three dot size when you give, it will just tell you there are four elements. Okay. The same thing you can check series three dot values. It will tell you the values that is present in series three are one, two, three, four. Say, suppose you want to see series two values. Just you can. Series two values. It will show you Kavi and Ravi. Okay, so these are the things. And now we'll see what are the methods that are available for a series. Okay, so methods are tail and head, okay? So head means it will retrieve the first five, okay? It will retrieve first five lines by default. But if you want to specify, you can specify how many lines you want it also. And tail will retrieve the, it will display the last five. It will display the last five lines, okay, by default. Okay, so this is head in the tail. So to demonstrate this, let us create one more series with the more values. So series five is equals to pd dot Series. So I'm just creating an array np dot a range of 10 to 20. I'm just starting with 10 to 19 values. Okay. So I'm just creating a series now first. You can see your series now. Okay. Now if you want to check your five. Okay, head, head method. When you give head, by default, it will show you the first five lines. 
and same thing if you want to say suppose you want to see only two lines you can just give head of two okay similarly when you want to see the last five lines then you have to use the tail okay it will show you the last five and when you give tail of two it will show you the last two lines that is eight and nine okay so all this is about the series now we'll go for the data frame okay so data frame is the next data structure that comes under your pandas okay and it will display okay all the values in the form of a table so here it will store the data it stores the data in the form of table okay in the form of a table again we can create a, uh, we can create a data frame okay we can create a data frame in multiple ways similar to your series here also we can create in multiple ways okay so from array from list from dictionary also we can create we can create data frames okay so let us create from the list that's the first method okay so first method is to create dictionary from the list okay data frame from list so let me create the list first okay this is my list now i have to do, create my data frame so it is pd dot capital d and capital f okay and then my list name so when you display df1 you will see sorry you will see a table kind of values okay so this is your row 0 row 1 row 2 row 3 row 4 and this is your column 0 because we have given only one list of values so we can do it like this so this is creating a data frame from a list of values say suppose you have a heterogeneous as we said before the data frame is a heterogeneous so let's have a string value as well a numerical value also so we'll create okay alex with 10 okay then i'll have some more value So we are just creating three values. Okay. This is data two. And then we want to create data frame. So it would be equals to PD dot frame of data two. Okay. Now when you display DF2, PD. So when you create, you have like this, right? The first row, second row, third row, and you have two columns. So let us rename these index positions, okay? So to rename that, you can just here only you can give, okay? I can rename both columns and the index also. So columns, I have two columns. So I have to just give column names. So let me give first column name as name and the second column as age okay and i want to change the index that is row also so let me give index as equals to okay say suppose you want to give it as row one comma row two and we have three rows so you have to give three values so row three Okay, so index is equal to within square bracket row one, row two, row three, then close it. 
Now you can see that the row 1, row 2, row 3 and name and age columns are here. So this is one way. And the second method is how to create using your dictionary. Okay, second method. Creating from dictionary. So first let me create the dictionary. Okay, data is equals to name. So under name, I'm going to have three values. I have Tom, Kamar, then I have Sam, then I have Jack. Okay, so these are the three names. And I'm going to have age also here. Okay, comma, second quotes age. And age are going to be integers. So I'm just giving it in square bracket. Okay, so name is key. And these are the values for it. And age is another key. And these are the values for it. Okay, so now I create df3 is equals to pd dot frame of data and I display df3 so you will get like this name age and the row indexes also is here okay so this is how you will create your uh, data frame from a dictionary and the third method is how to create Okay, this is method three, creating data frame, okay, from array. Okay, so first we'll create array, a1 is equals to np dot array. Okay, I'll create one more array because everything is in terms of tabular column. So I want to have 100 comma. Okay, so I have created the arrays. Now I'm going to convert this arrays into a data frame. So PD into data frame. Okay, so it is two arrays, so I have to give it within square bracket a1 comma a2. And if you want to rename our columns, you can just write columns is equals to okay, columns one. You can put it as column. We have three columns, okay, so column two and then column three. Okay, so now we'll display DF4. Yeah, so we got two array. The first row is 10, 20, 30, and the second row is 100, 20, 200, 300. So this is how you have to uh, access your, I mean, how to create the data frame from the arrays. Now we'll see how elements can be accessed, okay, in the data frame. So to access, Okay, to access your elements, you can use two methods. One is you can specify, say suppose df3, you can specify df3 dot, if you see here df3, it's name. Okay, column name is name. So I can give any any name. Okay, there's an error. So to access, Okay, access the elements, you can use different ways. So say suppose df3, okay, df3 is here, okay, df3 dot name. 
So it will just display all the names here because the column name is name here. Otherwise, you can give it like this also df3, okay, within bracket name. This also will display the same thing. Or using a lock, okay, location, loc lock also, you can see df3 dot log of zero. So it will display only the zeroth position. So that is a first row alone. It will display only that much. So when you want to access two columns, so name and age column you want to access, then you can write it like this. Okay, you should have two columns, right? So name, comma, age, and always it should be in two square brackets. Okay. So df3 of name, comma, age, when you give, it will display both the columns. So when you have multiple locations. So this is are the basics of pandas.